and Terror Blade with Ice Armor on them are going to be very difficult to bring down. The Negative Armor from Vengeful Spirit will kind of tap into that a little bit, but still we'll probably need maybe something like a medallion to bring them closer to zero. So we'll see if they're going to go the physical damage route or if they're going to get a magical damage nuker to, to better deal with the Terror Blade. I liked the Lion last time, but like you said, Core Venge is very uncommon, so we're probably just going to be seeing another carry as carry that can benefit the push. Dragonite is... I like Weaver. Remaining. Well, I'm pretty good mid. Yeah. Stop. Oh, hey, well, I'll get... Look at Kirsten. That's a probably different version. Maybe that Kirsten is like an outlay game to each other. How about that? It's still pretty damn scary to try and go against the Terrible Blade and Blade. Yeah, I, I would not say that they, they can go into that with confidence, but it's a hero that can benefit a lot from what they obtain throughout the map if they, as they continue the push. It's one that can survive through a full chronosphere and even the chain frost potentially. And if you add in the haunt when chain frost comes out, there's going to be a lot of illusions that uh, can eat up the chain frost damage. So there's still a lot of potential there. Ferrari Spectre. This is going to be interesting. Are we going to see new men? Are we going to see some light swaps? I'm wondering what they have in mind. They know what up against the lid. We need our spectre to be level 6, we're just going to count them as a solo bit. So we can count them high. Even if there's denial, so at least it's still experience. It's difficult to get still. That should also be a strong get you go. I believe is the first competitive 6.82 channel. So I'm not sure about that. I don't know the first few. I get to see it. It should be exciting. Let's get into it now. Game 3, first I beat a lot of people on the line, as well as a bit of pride and just dominance and shot up to We've got Isis, this and the power plane. Cooper will be his solo and Alchemist loves to stay in some options with it. That does bring kind of a classic hero for him in some ways. After that, we've got a mid that puts black under the fuss of the way Fender and the ledge, and the only thing they run a dual lane with those two together. Meanwhile, on the side of it, they just need to protect them. Protect the father of dragons. You got Chisbo and the best. Tron will be the himself that puts the on the sector, leaves Lua on the Death Prophet, and last time he's doing as the off ramp centaur. Or if they're just kind of dancing around here on the cliff. And they're going to go for the playground. But no longer don't go faking. I got to drop there. The mind game where you sent your. Mm -hmm. He sent her over here, I think even up over here, and it's just out of range of the sentry. Yeah, if you click the sentry, you'll see its range. They'll obviously have the same vision range, so anything outside that circle, and they're just going to be wasting their money. If Tron gets it right. Uh, if you put it over here, it's not, it's not a rush. Well, Tron is pretty good now. That makes it. And with the two pretty in the Well, I'll just say that it's not going to be really not a deal. <laughs> Definitely. It actually, it really helps if you played the hero a bunch because knowing the nuances of when, the, like the RNG of the jungle spawns, and just in general move, movement and timing, as well as uh, the micro that it requires, you really get a feel for it to get inside these players' heads and to know how difficult it really can be. They will move out with this smoke. It might be a little transparent because that observer war that we were talking about before uh, does it didn't show the smoke, but it shows that they didn't return that general area. So they have to be cautious. But it's hard to. It's, you really don't generally expect Chen to just wind up on the other side of the map all of a sudden. They're so. really not even being cautious. The super's across the river here. With very little vision. The smoke will burn out, and they're going to right now. This is going to be And that will be there to fall off and probably go into the right click. We need a bit more to get that fly. So Chen will get down. I think this is going to turn with this. Oh, it's going to be four. Uh, I don't know if this is what it should be. Super's going to be a magic missile. No mod for 
I thought I barely have a kid, but a lot of damage was done. Pretty little of it for my kitty. Aside from smoke. Yeah, they definitely needed to go for the body blocks if they were going to be able to get the kill on the Skyrath. Just a little bit too quick on his feet, though. So he's going to be able to uh, just head back to base. It means he's going to be sitting on level 1 for a very long time. But I'm curious how long Chuan sticks on this part of the map. Once you make that migration over to this general region, you don't leave very often. You're pretty much entrenched here. And with all the sentries that action that went down on the eastern side of IG's jungle, they might as well just stick around here, pick up some centaurs, keep the gank train rolling. He's on my smoke, he's got some tangos for Crawfridge's book to use, and I'll continue to make his rotations. And for me, I'll just pull him out. You see him max ass, maybe 9 times out of 10, and oftentimes I'll just start stacking the ancients. You actually drop the asset spray from the low ground, which is the range to have for them. So it's kind of a way to stack. Checking those runs out is even more important this one. Just the fast ones, and I'm interested to see if I'm going to pass at any point. For now, they make their way back to the ice sites. They put a bit of a, a change here. We saw last game Black was in the territory, but this time around, they did ice sites. But of course, they were over now for his box. So, looking for a scene of this. I said, you know, we've got the scout, but it might be at the wrong time. No, it's both. Yeah, so they're not going to get too much out of this. In fact, Skywrath might be able to try to force them out a little bit. They're going to get a TP in with the Lich, with the Skywrath. There's a lot of nuke potential here. Yeah, a lot of early movement on the centaur, in particular June. He's got he got the first flood. He's going to be able to build up towards the tranquil boots extremely early, and is even covering this rune spawn here. So yeah, just a, a great position for the bottom and mid lanes to be in in general. Leo gives him a nice sip of the bottle as he picks up the the full. Rune, double damage now in his clutches. So, IG right now, they've done a lot of damage, and although Super rotated and got a return kill, it's minimal recompense for the fact that now they're under so much pressure. Another smoke comes out, Chuan, Cheesebug looking for the flank, and I gotta say, this Magic Missile Centaur Stunt combo, it's very difficult to actually get out of that. It's difficult to get out of it, and Cheesebug also does a boost. He can get the defense pretty quickly. The smoke will move in at 396 MF, Feature already back in. It seems that this big mud is damaged. Good mad awareness from BD and just, well, now we see the ancient back in again. They're not working off. This is what would often do when BD was running the strategy a lot. I didn't say it before and at the event, but we're not seeing it now. I'm just on the play for third. This factor is just getting destroyed. Yeah. Play. He's getting his levels, but at the end, at least the basics play. They have to get some for 430. The urn, Reds, maybe, a racer would be nice. We're trying to move in now. Instead of it, you defend rear. You're a mobile on the ledge. You might get caught off the magic pistol start. They need those centaur stuff in that dagger. They're not. Well, this just isn't there. No. It's like, oh, we'll go back to the play. Another turn. No. This is a big chin bug. I'll turn it back. I go lose a lot. Chin bug dropping. They'll finish off one black turn. He's ahead of the other. So that can spawn. I need one more dash to get this, I believe. With the orb of them, so I need an opportunity to get another nuke. One more spin. Not only did they waste a ton of time ganking, but then they get the kills to boot really fast. Yeah, they just overextended too much. They wanted that Lich kill really bad, but they showed Spectre's intentions just by Ferrari being on the wave like that. It was trying to bait them forward. It's very clear transparent, so they were ready with the TPs. They turn it around, and uh, it's actually something we don't often get to see, but FY's concussive shot actually splashed. It hit on both the heroes, and they were able to clean up both kills. Black moving immediately onto the Chen. So, great movement uh, with the sky, and and, yeah, getting the rotation they needed to bring down the opposition. Really, uh, just a full resurgence here, and Vici Gaming are, are going to be 
back on the right foot. I mean, Super already is pretty safe in this lane. The Chemical Rage can dodge Magic Missile pretty easily if you're uh, quick on the trigger. And then, uh, yeah, in general, they they shut down June enough that he doesn't have Stampede just yet, and they've shut down the Spectre so hard when it comes to gold. And to make matters even worse, now I have a room I said he's about to level 6, he's got the Falling Blade, also 30 assists, nothing could be... They jump the Spectre and they Stampede, so fail the next level on the retreat. They try to start the pistol, I'm able to do it. A waste of Stampede, a deathless Spectre, a waste of Stampede. What else can go wrong, Trashy? I don't know. I mean, at this point, maybe some more rewards coming into Tuan's jungle, forcing him to to go to other lanes and be in a position where he's not actually getting farm. But uh, honestly, there's there's what could go wrong has gone wrong, and Ferrari is just trying to pick up the pieces here in the mid lane. Uh, but they have enough levels to force him back. I mean, the Lich has two points of Frost Blast. They are charging up the stun, and Ferrari will be harassed back once more. I don't know if they get the kill. The Frost Blast is there. Yeah, they'll get it. Yeah, the best Duke is enough to get the kill. Vici gave me another death for the enemy Spectre. All punching is worth. That was close. So what happened to the for him to still get his little kills on that? Location of that doesn't even need doesn't even need to get to go off some back and in Luo be careful not to press up. They turn out with already they made the move in. Up here there, it gets back to what the fall or it makes more than squish on the death drop it dies as well. IG. I mean, is it safe to say boys they're just losing every single lane? They're not shooting up the pool, they're not shutting down the terror blade, they are stacking agents and getting free for various getting levels on the leash. And they, yeah, it's 100% true, and the crazy thing is, three, four minutes ago, that wasn't the case. They were at least pulling even on bottom, they were winning mid, but they, Ferrari had such a bad time that they're forced to rotate him into a position where he might be able to come back, and uh, Vici have just been picking that over and over and over. They've been just pushing their buttons, they've been pinching their, their weak points, their nerves, and so far, IG aren't coming up with anything. The Stampede's gonna be needed to get Death Prophet out. No, they don't even use it. Where's the Stampede? Cross goes with the analogy. I'm trying to go on our side of this, but you're a bit too on the finger looking for some candy in range of the Terrorblade. And that was with the first here. That was just the name of the Scarab. Made no mystic either. The only thing that plays is a Bleak Diner tune. I'm not yeah. seeing how they can first start. And even at the end, it's still got to be a perfect placement. If, if he messes up just a little bit, if he falls in the situation, you will see a, a turn out from Chronosphere. And this is like an absolute nightmare. Free form, welcome to Terrible and Void, all in one beat. Oh, yeah. And you only really have that talk that you have to consistently try and shut these heroes down. Yeah. Very nice and... It really is bad, and honestly, the Chrono's going to be coming out pretty soon once again. Right now, it's just terribly to harass back June, show him who's boss a little bit here with the right clicks, and man, he just gets chunked on. Even though he does have armor from the Tranquil Boots, it's still just a massive amount of right click damage with this max metamorphosis, so he's just uh, getting the push on, getting the harassment on. Wait, it's 6v1. What do I should say. And now they bring it back in as well. With that Chrono. They're just trying to bait him in. He wants to get stunned. He wants him to open so that the Chrono can come through, but uh, I don't think they're going to fall for it here. Unfortunately, uh, boys, um, I'm just not feeling like we're going to be He wants to. Dude, I think it's going to be a lot better. Yeah. Now, Max, the second bait of the trees can seek out to safety. Interesting choice from Super. We are going to see the Vanguard, which he has been for now. I can only imagine that he wants to upgrade this at some point Yeah, definitely. I mean, with all the Chen creeps, the illusions from Spectre floating around, that's a lot of potential damage to nullify, and uh, you can't block spirits, but that's really the only other physical damage that's coming in. So I think it's a really smart choice to, to build that up, and it's going to make it so difficult to bring down Terrorblade and Faceless. But... Yeah, in this position, the blink is up for June. He's gonna be able to pick that up from the side shop here. But uh, it just seems like every time that Vici Gaming want to go for a Chronosphere, and they are smoking up now, it's gonna be a guaranteed kill. Fy has the Mystic Flare. He has maxed Ancient Seal. There's gonna be so much damage coming out. At the same time, 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 the
This is how it starts, man. 1700 gold gained by IG, 500 lost by Vici. These, these comeback swings, even at this early stage, can be exactly what makes or breaks the progression of Invictus Gaming. They aren't down and out just yet. They are very quickly being outgunned by the Vici Gaming item progression, but uh, still showing some signs of life. Getting the tower kill, getting a couple of important hero kills, and uh, the Chrono is at least on cooldown for the moment. But top lane, this tower is going to drop so very fast. They do have fortified essentially a free one to keep this tower alive a little bit longer, but they just can't rotate to defend. That's okay. So I said for 177 damage. So this tower doesn't go long. Meanwhile, we're going to wait for these trees to look strong. He's picked up his buckler. Nice. Stop all the chemical rages. There's a triple off. It was a really low damage roll. It's like, still left to do. But, I mean, what's, what's going to stop Ice Ice Ice, though? He's still got. Uh, if, even if his metamorphosis runs out, the illusions will keep theirs. He's just spamming them out, and he they could just destroy this tier 2 really quickly. Ford is back up, and that's all well and good, but they're taking trades of tier 1 for tier 2, and I'm not sure if they could even prevent what's going on up top. And also, <laughs> finally cracks the 3k gold marker. Now, 13 and a half minutes in. I do not point out the amazing way to see gaming. They have managed to drop that horse oh, wow. pretty big everywhere during this incursion into the enemy jungle. I have to center off top of the game. Yeah, I should just know it's IG Heap of all shit. So they look for Roche, like, what's, what's the next step for them? I think Roche would be a smart course of action. We have the exorcism for it and all that, but I don't really feel confident in the fight against Chrono Chainfrost. If there's any chance that Vichy Gaming inv invade the pit, the roast shouldn't happen. So for now, they just control the enemy jungle. They have a nice set of wards up uh, in their own offensive department, and they should be able to see Ice Ice coming. Should be able to pick him off, and that would open up an objective like Roshan. And Ice Ice is moving forward with the Radiant Woods. Is I kind of feel one point that we should have again is. Chris and have got 10 days to defuse the, the tension of uh, a Chronosphere Change for us, too. But I don't get that. Oh, that's a gear. And a Chronosphere. And a Super Popular Vanguard. Oh, man. Oh, this is a. This is just such a hard plan to make. I guess it's a great sense of stop. And you're going to shock. They do pop some chaos in the mind. But they scout out the start now. They play for me, can't play. I guess it's so easy initiation in this tiger. The tower guy, we're gonna play the tower back up. Everyone goes, it's a good way to be in the fight. Now, follow up. 433, speed on that guy. The Chrono Script comes in, it's a good one, but there's no follow up. And he needs to walk down. There's no follow up for it whatsoever. You have the double edge, and the ice ice speed is all around a relatively healthy edge. So far, too, but the ice 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 is kind of way out. I'm surviving a 3 for 1 exchange. Sadly for IG, the one here that points the benefit of this mm -hmm. fight did die in the second, but nonetheless, boy, suddenly Lua was back on top. Yeah, they definitely got a lot of gold across the board. Uh, there was good focus on the Spectre there, trying to make sure that he wouldn't be able to contribute. So Ferrari doesn't go much beyond the Urn of Shadows, but still with the mask, Max Desolate and the Haunt, he'll be able to at least contribute if his teammates are surviving. And that's the name of the game for Lilo, is building up this Yule Scepter, adding in extra time for him to survive, for him to output damage, and for him to try to turn things around. Vichy game after a very potent start. Starting to politely loosen their grip on this game. That said, they're about, they had to pick the Crimson Guard. They still have that combo. Mm -hmm. And that was the idea of getting the perfect jump. You know, probably their high school setting, and it's quite a good change for her. And just burst through the giant instantly. If they don't get that kind of jump, 
which is not that easy. All I really have to oh, yeah. that this could go a lot differently. So she gave me a little I look for a better pitch. I still leave a little. I'm now even on experience. And I think and we're going to see a jump in the like 10 minutes. Yeah, the surprise factor from IG's last fight there was actually like impeccable. The way they were able to get the flank off, I honestly thought that it would fall on its face, but they got the perfect pickoffs in the perfect order, and oh, they knew. They knew that the supports would be on the back line, so they really just started the fight the perfect way. And although they did lose out a little bit, uh, they're gaining so much more traction than what we thought was possible for this game. Yeah, it's a tower exchange right now, so it's actually in terms of sources. I mean, you just see the radiant top here, you have a more specialized significant margin, but the full technology you can run runs pretty decently. The second thing I say, I get the edge of the Vici, and probably the main reason they have to slight hold me, but it's the only one. Now it's gonna drop it. So we can paid, but I also stop by the stuff, I think he's out of range. And Spectre holds it in. Himself on the fighter trying to prevent any sort of quality change for us from coming out. And meanwhile, they're going to the alchemist as well. And then they lose more fighter in the face. He's held it well, but that is probably a little not the luckiest back. Now it's just the rush pit for IG. They're right back in the place. Now they're pretty on top. Oh, now I can go there with it. The initiation has just been impeccable since the, the disastrous fights involving the chronosphere they've just been saying okay well while black is away let's start our own fights let's make things happen and their ultimates have been really on point the the stampede movement is exactly what you'd expect from a center like june and yeah they now have control right back over the game the roche will fall ages to go to the centaur in fact and they really just want to make the most of his aggressive initiation he can go in as deep as he wants to as long as the team's ready to back him up uh, it's the right time. It's the right time. He's all carrying Duke's shield for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I still do feel that Vichy Gaming is not running the lineup the way they want to. I mean, you're running Void, Alchemist, really good shady sons, and you've been caught every fight in a row for the past, like, seven to eight minutes. At some point, they should be looking to get the jump on IG, and if they manage that jump, it could be still a really different outcome, but it will get to the point where there's another fight next to where the Chen map is going to be potentially if the dragon's also the warrior, not to mention the, the, the very powerful hand of God that can come through and, and heal those as well, so... Um, I'm really not... I don't know, I feel like they can win, they can turn this now, but if they were one or two minutes, the death all might just so well is basically what I'm trying to say. Most definitely. I agree with that general assessment. Since they lost that one big fight in mid, they kind of got C9 syndrome. They're just trying to spread the map as much as possible, but it leaves them very susceptible to pickoffs. They put all their wards in an aggressive a stance that they didn't have any control of their own jungle where a couple of their members were farming and IG have been able to overtake that left right and center they haven't although the like we saw those wards drop down specifically the plateau ward and this lane ward in the mid and we thought oh that's great they can really follow through with their offensive movement and uh, seal the deal in this game but really the fact is when they're spreading they're farming and they're not actually putting enough pressure on Ferrari as we see here this is a turn it will melt. It's not a big shoot, but it still keeps the Spectre down, who might have just escaped you through the back of my relic here. But with that bet, uh, he may reevaluate them. That's what he goes for. And they might develop a bit of as well. Damn. The Paralyzed by Sysipes has managed to pick up a bad belt that's been working towards the end. He's pretty much out of this book right now, but the question is if he will. We'll see. Wow. It's like this being a draw pre aggro back. Quick space in the top. Like, he's like a little more hard work on the tower with his teammates to go. One. When he wants the tower, he can do that aggro scepter. Radiance bottom tower is under a game. Each game. Getting the tower and getting his kill. Where Reggie all located the tower bottom. And that's a speed of defense. So it might be. Until the comes back, they're just going to join the fray. The little John is the one who walks directly into the pool. Stampede is used to face the super fight from the end. You can almost go initiate. Where the hell is that? This is what he does. He's out of the fight completely. Now he joins the fight. 
Those are cross people. That's absolutely impeccable. And I think it should be pretty accurate. They have the ages. They're going to get a fourth result. Two will fall. They hardly got the value of the exorcism. They'll actually be the stuff. But the only time off short, he just walked a bit short. He didn't expect it. Or stepped over the cliff. And it could have been a fourth. It was still going there. Nope. But it didn't power by either. Yeah, that's that's the Vokasi one. Like I can understand the time walk there, but that siege creep taking the tower is uh, just there's no excuse for it. Even still, a great fight for them. I thought at first the chain frost wouldn't do much, but the acid spray actually gradually took down the creeps to the point that they weren't eating the bounces and the the tail end of it. The last three or four jumps were all heroes and just cleaning up the fight very nicely. Black's rotation was a little hesitant, but in the end they get a lot of farm from the top lane, and of course he does come in for those easy bashes. He's Still get, keeps the Chronosphere, didn't need it on the tail end of that, other than to, if you wanted to secure the Centaur kill 100%. Oh, I don't think I had it. It was, it was quite easy. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't have it now, so they look for big off during this experiment. He's still far away. I love the death properties. Picked up a match. The stuff of the little is pretty damn squishy. He's not like the bulls and black jumps. Mm -hmm. And he gets caught by going on. I'm pretty sure Black can just slow kill him at that point. Yeah. He gets to worry about the Phoenix, but certainly if you throw him in, he's going to it. I think the swap is going to be enough to keep the Death Prophet alive, though. The Cheese Bug is about to hit level 11, just 10 experience off, and when he gets that rank 2 swap, it should be enough that as long as he stays away from his teammates, they should be able to swap every turn. What a big timing here for, for IG to be able to so. Yeah, they had the ages, they had mm -hmm. the full boots on the 10 marking ports, the axe, they were creeping, they pushed bottom, then the specter is creeping, okay, that's one thing, but then, just all the bottom lane, and that simply happens to them. And they lose the tower block as well, I'm able to get the guy there, go to the top next, who should have been right still in the walls, and he's got all the forts that are called, he's not the most far away, but he's summed enough, and he throws axe over the top, that he can do that some serious damage. So got I mean, even your alpha is be scared later on. This is the fight right here. If IG take this, Lil gets a heart. He gets really difficult to bring down. The Spectre probably gets a huge item. Ferrari looks to be saving for Relic. He's a DX one out of stock. I think he backed right down. Oh, I'm just backed. I'm getting a little bit of muscle enough. Or they're even haunted in afterwards. That's why they definitely have a mega streak for the Void. And the Spectre to get it. Difference. Spectre is about to get her Relic. And despite the one of the worst starts I've seen for the hero, she just got 622 out of that kill, and she is only 500 gold off, not even. So, in this position, Spectre just kind of rebounds from this hero that just can't Zero contribute anything. <laughs> but, and then they can push in. If they can claim a tower on the back of this as well, that could be absolutely immense. There's no ultimate. Or, sorry, there's not. Jesus, I keep on calling ultimate. There's no metamorphosis here for the Terror Blade. <laughs> so he's not going to push particularly quickly. But at the same time, IG are fighting their way to Acid Spray. And they may be fearing the buyback that Black could potentially offer, though. He actually has already spent his gold before dying. Doesn't have one, in fact. Yeah, it's all about the. It's going to be about this Radiance for 430 now. Mm -hmm. And they're going to steal a stack or at least die oh, trying. Oh, yeah. That is really big if they can get that. The Wave of Terror is only level 1, though, so they're not fully confident in it. And is it, it like worth pulling your exorcism for that? I kind of feel like it is, but uh, it may be risky if you get caught. Exorcism is a pretty huge spell, all things considered. That leaves them so vulnerable for the next team fight. I mean, Haunt will be up at 40, but if you're just fighting with Hand of God and Stampede against Chrono Chain Frost, you need the exorcism, I think, is the bottom line. I would, I would say that'd be a questionable decision that could pay off, but it's a risk they don't need to take right now. Alright, well, they won't. Would have been some nice gold in their pockets, man. I mean, you gotta get that egg some way. Chana has component number two. You are all about this scepter, man. I mean, who is it? Come on, dude. It sounds amazing. I mean, but the thing is, if he gets it at, like, the 35-minute mark or something, it's, it's probably not gonna be that crazy. It still scales with each rank in Hand of God. Oh, Ferrari. No, he just bought this relic at least. But that's, that's the kill that can't happen right now. It just, it just can't be. They can't be giving up those kills. And what doesn't help him is he's only got a single ward here, so he doesn't have too much vision. They've got another deep ward drop down in the VG jungle, but... 430 just feels like he can't go off on his own. That top lane just seems to be murder row for him. 
Yeah. One thing uh, that won't haunt him for too much longer, but Chuan at level 11 accidentally put an extra point in Penitence instead of Hand of God, so they are actually not getting the full value of that. It could be 50% stronger at this level 2 ranking, but uh, yeah, he just uh, unfortunately misskilled and is waiting to level 12 before he built that up. So Academs then will get allow him to dominate two Ancient Creeps, and uh, obviously they have the Max Vengeance Aura, so they're going to be hitting hard. Oh, that's true. They, they, the creeps do get the vengeance aura. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, oh yeah, you can go Vlad's drums, uh, the necro aura. You want these things as pumped as possible. <laughs> if only you could like use ogre magi's blood rage on them and stuff. <laughs> that would be pretty insane. Would empower empower them perhaps. <laughs> that sounds awesome, actually. Oh well. <laughs> well, for now, Fenrir will continue stacking the ancients. And so far, those ancients have mostly been helping out PG. They just have such a good lineup to clear them with the out. And even Terrible and Void do well there. Speaking of the Void of Black, he's about to pick up a BKB. And this will pretty much give him a full solution to a potential stomp initiation. He's quick. And I will say Black was very quick at the spend game earlier. His reactions were pristine, so... We'll have to see if he can continue to deliver in that department in the upcoming fights. Yeah. So one thing to note is the Heaven's Halberd pickup on the Alchemist I don't think is going to add that much value to the team. There's not that much hard right click from one individual source. The evasion will be nice in general and you can't count that out but as far as the active it's not going to be that big a deal. It's just a good effective HP item but he's going to need more very soon. He's been farming ancients, he's been building up net worth but super he needs to pick up a big item soon. Oh no he's got his heart now. Okay. He just got a whole lot of tank here, and they do have to swap buddy. So Lua just stands at the front lines all by his lonesome, and back is reluctant to go in and Wow. This. They're gonna lose the tower. This is a bit of a trade. Ice 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 taking the tier two. Now Lua on the way out. Chronos gear down Chuan, but there's a defensive swap at least. So Chase Mug will sacrifice his life. Tron now popping his mechanism, and they're gonna hot try to turn this one. Super and Fender on the way out. Spectre Illusions on the way in. Suddenly back way behind him. He left the chain bus still bouncing beautifully. The way of Peachy, that was about the best Chrono setup. His black time walks in the trees. I think he expected someone to be there, but he was wrong. 430 will fall for this. And in the end, one hero did manage to keep out. I think I lost sight of somebody who was on the northern end. And this was Blaze, a 4v5. They just yeah. lost their base while that was all going on. Terrorbladed, man. This is just absurd how much this guy can push if he just gets some free time with the meta up. Uh, it's just absolutely destroying the, the barracks. And he's actually going to get the Radiance before the Spectre. Obviously, he had a better start to it, but oh still, it's, it's not even, it's like a casual Radiance for him. It's not as critical a pickup as it is for the Spectre by comparison. So, this yeah. Is... The... Oh, man. 5k advantage for t TB over Spectre. It's going to be a hard comeback swing. It's still possible that Spectre can get a lot of kills once the Radius is finished, but honestly, like, Ferrari in a bit of a panic, when he got singled out at the end of that fight, he bought a TP scroll on top of the death, and he just went back down to zero unreliable, so... Yeah, he didn't really save himself any losses, and it cost him dearly, as he's still a thousand gold off of the recipe. Yeah, I mean, I think an understandable panic. He knows how important that fight was supposed to be for his team. And it's just, again, the power of the Kronos here. <laughs> it's, it's just what, it's just, it's been nerfed a bit in the AoE, but it's still, it's <laughs> always big enough, it feels like. Yeah. My, and once again, but again, I, we're going to continue to see this hero get picked, yeah. it seems. He just it offers you too much. The late game, still difficult to shut down in the laning stage. He had a little off from Lich, but basically just 1v1 and face rolled the enemy carry, who's also a melee ability hero. The compare how that's how hard the Spectre is. Oh, so there's FY here. He got jammed in by Tron. Test of Faith will secure that. Now June on the way out. Does. Or, or sorry, Super on the way out. Does June continue the chase? So first stop available. There's a little Cobalt Foreman pursuing them as well, <laughs> lending his pathetic speed aura to the fight. And some boots as well in the cup. So just a simple pick off for now, but they're just trying to create space, trying to buy time. Spectre is almost there. Ferrari's just about to tip over the edge, and 30-minute radiance, it may sound late, but there was a time in Dota where that wasn't the case, where 30-minute was actually a good time radiance, but people just find more efficient ways to farm, more efficient ways to build up, and at this point in the game, it does feel a little slow, but even still, enough to turn it around, perhaps, uh, as long as they're not losing out multiple lanes of racks, but for now, they've already lost the melee bottom and they have to make something happen in order to keep themselves up for now it's space creation but once that radiance comes out they need to make it work for them you know things are bad when it's the alchemist pushing mid nearly complete assault crest the enemy terrible is 
Free farm your woods and maybe even go in on the step. Yeah, 430, you're not going to be allowed to farm here. An illusion is made of him. That's going to desolate him, and he can't even do anything about it. He'll retreat out, but that was just a casual reflection. And that's another thing worth mentioning is that is a pretty potent spell against Spectre. <laughs> Although, nice, 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 they've overextended here. He gets caught out by the Hawk, but it's going to be attempted as he retreats into the trees for a Double edge stop combination is enough to get the kill. But this will open the way for Roche, which means you get me already doing, so it's still kind of space created. And bottom lane continues to be hollowed out by creeps. Frey Drax dropping low. Not, not available now for the Roche fight. Yeah. The Radiance is fine, but the uh, Radiance without Haunt, it just means it's another 95 seconds before Ferrari realizes the potential of his item pickup, and essentially that's all of his net worth right there. Like, the Treads, the Urn, it's just a, a way to make him tanky enough to actually get this Radiance to do something for him, but long term, wow. he doesn't have enough HP to tank through a Chain Frost on any of his illusions, and those getting one shot means that the Lich is still able to contribute a ton to the fight, so it's, it's next okay, big pickup. Please. It has to be made the big pickup here. He's got his eggs, but he has to find a way to the ancient black dragon. This is a secret mission for Twan, and it's actually going to be tough Important. with these wards that have been dropped. Oh my gosh, they're blocking it off. This is an absolute perfect counterplay. They it's saw this coming a mile away. <laughs> but he's going to have to like smoke the dire ones, just smoke, make it way smoke, across. Smoke dominate and, and a dragon. Come on, Twan. Yeah. Mission impossible, but I believe in you. You can achieve this. Turn the radio ones. Yeah, this is a difficult... I mean, obviously, like we said, the Hand of God by itself is still a lot of value, but I don't know if they're going to be able to bait the Ancients necessarily. They could definitely look to contest with all the vision they have, but you have to consider who the Aegis is on. Void has to be the prime player here. He has to be able to make the impact early with his first life without committing his BKB. Because if he commits the BKB, then the respawn is going to be that much lackluster unless they're already winning the fight. That's okay. Of course. Dragon's here to save the day. Let's see if we got Avenger but there is the minus armor from the top crest to be worried about. And it's also rather slow without the stampede. Mm -hmm. This just this was going to be so much scarier at 22 minutes, 25 minutes than at 33. But he's got to walk out, please. He just needs to find that second. They're looking uh, for Tron bottom lane. The bash was there. The fall off comes through blind BKB. Dodging out. There's a great defensive swap from Chisbo. Oh. Barely saving one teammate, but still black just powers through him anyway. If he gets one more bash, probably the death of Boom. Chain Frost will slow down. Now the hot, turn around attempting. Lua throwing himself up in the air. The ghost driving it back. The dragon is just standing there, flapping its right. wings while the fight happens. Help, damn it, dragon. Help. Finally, it'll join the fight, but. Oh, far too late to be of any use. Little oh, fall. Oh. Useless dragon. <laughs> uh, this is like They're the first dragon you fight in Skyrim. Just... just completely useless by comparison. It's, it's... Can't even kill F Y. <laughs> yeah. He's got 16 armor. It's just like, okay, shrug it off. This the splash damage. They're all grouping against it. It doesn't matter. They don't care. They'll let it live. They'll just take the racks. That's what they came for, and that's what they're gonna get. Two lanes down now for IG, and this might be VG Gaming taking the game, taking the best of three, and moving into the grand final. I think they've got a date with old boys at this point. They're looking for megas. This will be a third lane of racks. No buybacks from IG in play. They don't even have them if they wanted to. And any second now, there you have it. GG will play for Tron. The father of dragons has been slain. And VG Gaming stand victorious. They will face the old boys tomorrow in the grand finals of my league, fighting for the lion's share of a $277,000 prize pool. Well-deserved, too. I mean, those fights were absolutely insane throughout this entire match, but this one was where they...